Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review. We're doing another ARC to Elite today. I'm going to do a pair of them, so that way I can have them both ready so you guys get a chance to see them before I head off to Indy. Uh, so anyway, this is Brad Keselowski's 2014 Talladega Race Win Elite. And of course, next to it is the ARC. Um, so, uh, I had the ARC, did it, uh, the video on that a while back, and now we have the Elite, and we're taking a look at it today. Uh, we're going to start here with what comes in the box. So, in both boxes, there will be this bag of confetti. I wonder where the confetti landed. Looks like there's a piece here, 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 everywhere. Throwback to Robin Williams' genie there. Um, the DIN card here, 12 of 130 on the Elite here. There is no card on the ARC, so that is unique to the, to the Elite. Uh, then both will come with this winner sticker here, and both will have this winner card here. So October 19th, 2014, uh, this was that race where he needed to win to move on to the next round, and he did, knocking Casey Kane out of the playoffs. That's right, I'm bittersweet on this again. Uh, so yeah, that's what we got there. Let's go ahead and slide these off to the side and take a look at our boxes. So our first box we're going to see is the standard 2014 Elite or sorry, ARC, a Sprint Cup Series, uh, and then you got the checkered flag cross, the winner sticker, raced version. Um, there is a picture of Brad in victory lane there. Go over here, you can see Red's Wicked Ale, uh, Apple Ale, sorry, Talladega win, uh, one of 912, schedule, and there's that picture again, so... Uh, yeah, that's the picture of the box here. Good, good condition box. I just figured I'd show that off. And there you can see the winner sticker card and confetti uh, because this car will be on uh, eBay, the ARC. So the link will be in the description. If you are interested, check it out over there. Um, but yes, all of the, the box is in great shape. The, the card and stuff is all there and the car is over here. So uh, just wanted to point that out before I got too far into the video because it is available if someone is interested. Uh, all right, so on to the Elite. The Elite style, we get the box, sleeve and box style uh, on there. Uh, the card is and everything is out of this one. That's the one I showed you. One of 130. And that's pretty much all there is to see. Just the sleeve and box style, pretty much it. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and start with the Elite here. Uh, so on the Elite, you go down the left side, you can see we got some dirt kind of all along the bottom of the front. You can see it down along the splitter. The splitter is perfectly clean and yellow, but then right above it, we just got dirt everywhere around the bottom of the front there. You can see Red's Wicked Apple Ale and Pennzoil up there. We've got a Ford emblem. There's our Ford grill, and then just confetti everywhere. You can see the blue, white, and silver confetti just caked the roof, caked the windshield. I mean... There is a Kozlowski name in a yellow banner under there. You can't even see it. Uh, there's also a yellow number under there. Can't hardly see that. Uh, there you can see five winter stickers. A ton of confetti on the rear window. We got Worth across the deck lid, if you can even read it. Uh, there you see our number two. We got Reds. Uh, you can see pretty clean on the left side. A lot of confetti over here, but not a lot of... Um, not a lot of dirt or, or tire marks. You can see inside that wheel there, we got some... Uh, no, not a piece of confetti. Sorry, that's the Penske 2... 12 and 22 and also we see a little dirt in there and you can even see the rotor uh rear wheel same as the uh the front on the back we got uh, going for two reds and then you see the rear bumper decal wicked apple and then you can see more confetti everywhere kicked up there uh let's go ahead and pop this open you can see we got the braces the tethers the fuel cell all the detail there uh it's got the big tall uh spoiler on here. Uh, I wish they would put these on the new ones because the new spoilers are actually that tall. They're tall enough to be taller than these here. Um, huh, is it supposed to close that way? Oh, I guess it is. I thought it was supposed to close the other way. Huh, interesting. Uh, as you go down the right side though, you can see not a lot there. You can see a couple marks up here towards the door. A little bit of dirt and stuff up there, but otherwise just confetti everywhere on this car. It is a This was one in the Confetti Cannon Special. So that should, oh yeah, excuse me, it's past 12 a.m. here. Um, but this was in the confetti cannon special, so you can obviously see why. There's confetti everywhere, and as in, once you get to the nose, you can see the dirt along the splitter here. Not on the splitter, the splitter is perfectly clean, but uh, everything else has plenty of dirt around it, uh, which looks really good. Uh, now let's go ahead and just take a quick look at the key details. Obviously, we looked earlier at the fuel cell where it had the braces and tethers. Does not have that on the ARC. Um... Go ahead and look at the roof flap quick. Uh, there you see the two tethers that come out of the roof flap. Uh, we go to the ARC. 
no tethers, just a basic roof flap. So the roof flap does deploy. Um, now we go up here to the window net, I believe. This is removable, there we go, yep. So the window net pops down. You can see into the steering wheel, the seat, the seat belts, the radio wire, all that in the interior. Uh, that just pops right down. The ARC does not have that option, that is elite only. And then uh, obviously we gotta look under the car. We've got the DIN plate of 12, the working rear and front suspension, which is on both. Um, but there is a little bit more detail on the front one, especially you have some transmission lines uh, that you do not have under the ARC. So you can kind of see a little bit of detail underneath, not quite as much as maybe was, uh, you know, would be anticipated. Um, so let's go ahead and pop open these two hoods so we can get a good look at the engine detail here. Uh, so the ARC does open a little bit taller than what the Elite will allow us to, to open here. Um, so we can't open it quite as far on the Elite end. You can kind of see where I'm, I'm stuck. Get to about there, and it's about as high as it'll go. So definitely not as much. However, you can see the, the kind of block of an engine in there. Um, just basically blue plug wires painted on a block. Um, there we go get in there and you can see there are actually a blue uh, valve cover with individual plug wires it is hard to see i don't have a good light to get in there with uh, but it does have individual plug wires in there on the um, on the uh, valve covers so that is pretty cool um, i do like that detail because you can also see it underneath there's some transmission lines on this side especially right there um, which is unique to uh, the elites as well so um, overall though, I would say there's not a huge difference between ARC and Elite. If I didn't already have such a big Elite collection, uh, I probably would have been perfectly satisfied with the ARC on this one. It's a great ARC. There's literally, it, it's a fantastic looking car. Um, and realistically, you can't even tell the difference between the Elite and the ARC because of the spots where you normally will see the Elite difference, which is under the windshield, uh, where the pillar is black instead of white. You can't see because of the confetti. And then you can see it a little up here. So you can see how that one's white on the roll cage. This one is black on the roll cage. Um, but outside of that, and obviously the weight of the car, what's under the car, those details are the only things that are different. So not a ton of differences on these two cars. They're actually very, very similar. Um, and that's probably one of the reasons that I think they, um, you know, I wasn't as big a hurry to get these as, uh, say some of the other ones that I've upgraded, like a lot of my cane collection. So, um, anyway, that'll pretty much wrap up this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As I said, if you are interested, check the description. There will be a link to the ARC listing on eBay. Uh, so now that I've got the elite, the ARC is going to a new home. So if you'd like it to be your home, go ahead and check it out over there on the eBay page. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed. Stay tuned later this week for a massive amount of new arrivals. I am going to get buried before I even head to Indy. So we've got a wild week ahead of us. I cannot wait. But make sure you got that bell on so you don't miss any of those uploads. Thanks for watching. This has been Race Grays, and we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.